Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening anywhere in the world. Welcome back to our Global Weekly Updates. As the global impact of the U.S. change of administration to President Joe Biden, I want to let you know a few of the impacts to Vietnam from a Joe, uh, Biden, Joe Biden administration. One is regarding the immigration. The, from Vietnam, there will be more students that can study in the U.S., more high-skilled labor, and also more investors will be able to invest in the United States under a Democratic president. Two, regarding the economics, is the U.S. will also begin discussions with um, the other countries in the CPTPP in order to rejoin the CPTPP. That will help Vietnam tremendously, uh, as we stated in a different video. But now it's serious and it's already getting started. And the final item is the Paris Climate Accord, which the Biden administration has decided that they will join. And that will also help Vietnam because Vietnam is also moving to a greener uh, society and a greener manufacturing opportunities. Thus, Vietnam already is ahead of that trend, which helps it uh, follow in line with the U.S. standards once it rejoins the Paris Climate Accord. That's just one item, and I believe that will help Vietnam grow under this Biden administration. Another impact to Vietnam is to the airline industry. But yet, in light of the economic situation, the low passenger count, there's a new airline that just came into operation, which is Vit Travel Airlines. And of course, the name sounds familiar because Vit Travel has been a large state-owned enterprise for tourism and travel in Vietnam. And the, although the passenger travel has decreased dramatically due to COVID, it has been an increase in the cargo transportation in Vietnam because people still need to send their uh, packages, they need to send their products, and they need to make sure that they're still making money and the economy is going. Thus, that is a brief update on the airline industry in Vietnam right now. Global vaccination process and standards around the world. The United States already started their vaccination programs, but just for frontline workers, medical workers, and folks who are engaged every single day. Vietnam just this morning announced that they do have a vaccine as well, and they will implement it for folks who are healthy from 18 to 59 years old and willing to take the vaccine as a test trial. We don't know, but we believe that it will hopefully open up Vietnam for the predicted Q4 for commercial tourism flights because we have over 100 inquiries about folks who really want to come back to Vietnam, see the opportunities. It is party time in Vietnam at the end of the year. We're almost going into Tet, which is February 12th. So what we've been doing is we've just, to be honest, just partying, partying and going to many activities, such as the Johnny Walker 200 year anniversary also, the Miss University 2020 in Hanoi, which represented over 164 schools and uh, universities in Vietnam to pick the smartest, talented, and uh, most beautiful uh, high, uh, college, university students. And we want to congratulate uh, Miss V from Gang Thơ University for winning the Miss University 2020. And also, we've been invited to a ton of events such as the How We, the Women Entrepreneur Society, the Young Business Association of Ho Chi Minh City, and also Vinh Yung. But I want to say that because I want to let you know that Vietnam is almost fully open. We have activities everywhere, uh, including the 100 Best Business Styles internationally that is organized on the 27th. Please follow us. We will post many videos and many activities of things that are happening in Vietnam. If you can't make it to Vietnam, we feel sorry for you. But if you do decide to come to Vietnam, let us know in the next two weeks and we will be happy to entertain you and let you know about the activities going on. Thank you very much for joining us in our Global Weekly Updates. We are always happy to let you know about Vietnam. Get to know more. Make sure you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment below of the activities that you've been involved with and you want to get involved with in Vietnam. 
and we look forward to seeing you in the next video on the Global Weekly Update. Thank you.